NBA co-founder Garland Favorito. Hello, Georgia. Good afternoon. My name is Garland Favorito. I am a retired career IT professional. 15 years ago, I founded Voter GA as a volunteer. I did not take a salary for GA. Voter GA stands for Vote Organized for Trusted Election Results. 15 years ago, we learned that lesson that we have to have trusted election results, but we don't have election results. Voter GA is a nonpartisan, nonprofit leader in the election integrity movement. All the donations are tax deductible. So today I want to tell you how your money is being spent. On December 23rd, 2020, we organized petitioners to file the Fulton County ballot inspection lawsuit. Show us the ballots. Now, some of the media back there has been saying uh, ever since the election that there's no evidence of election fraud. <laughs> not, not all of them. Some, of them. some of them are friendly. Give them a break. So, okay, so let me give you the evidence. We have four senior poll managers who swore in affidavits that they handled counterfeit ballots in Fulton County's hand count audit in the 14th or 15th of November. One said that the counterfeit ballots could scale into the tens of thousands. You also have the State Farm Arena video. There are four, at least four, election-related uh, violations on that video. The affidavits were made public on November 16th of last year, and the video was made public on December 3rd. So, no matter what the media has said for the last seven or eight months, that is prima facie evidence of election fraud, and the attorney, la the uh, judge last week on September 20th agreed with us that that is rock solid evidence, and he's gonna move forward. They gave us a week or two, though, when we had a delay. So on August 24th, Voter GA sued the state of Georgia to permanently ban the Dominion Democracy Suite 5.5 system from the state of Georgia. I knew you were going to like that. Everybody likes that. So, jo you're welcome. Uh, Georgia law requires an elector verifiable voter uh, elector verifiable ballot and human readable text. As you know, this system, if you vote in person, accumulates votes in a QR code that you, the voter, cannot verify or read. The U.S. District Court has already ruled that the voting system violates Georgia law. But they haven't provided any relief yet, so we're going into state superior court and said, give us the relief. The release is to get this system out of Georgia, period. In addition to the lawsuits, we took some legislative action last year, and we got ballot images to be made public permanently now we'll be, you'll be able to get the ballot images from your county anytime and compare them. So that was another major accomplishment we had on, for Senate Bill 202. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. We're going to keep doing this too. Um, so I want, uh, we have a team of volunteers here. Look for folks that have Voter GA shirts, Voter GA hats. Uh, they are all, uh, you talk to them about getting involved. We need you in this movement. If we had uh, a tenth of the folks here, we could really get that audit done next week in Georgia. So I want, yes, I want y'all to sign up. I know you're committed. 
I want you to sign up. There's a couple of ways to do that. Text tax election integrity to 404-777-0067, or you can also just go to voterga.org, voterga.org volunteer tab, and you can sign up that way. You can even get on our weekly calls. So in conclusion, I'd like to just simply say that we need to restore election integrity in Georgia. We all know it. And if we can't find out what happened in November, we're not going to have a, a legitimate election in 2022. So that's what we've got to do. Finally, I want to thank President Donald Trump for giving me an opportunity today to speak to you as a nonpartisan organization. And God bless him. God bless you. And God bless the state of Georgia. Thank you.